Jax on these new fighters is not that bad. Hello and welcome to another EA Sports UFC 4 video. Last week we got two new fighters. So we got another banger for you as I'll be taking the fighters out there on the rank circuit to see what they're really about. The fighters we received was well to wait. Bilal, remember the name Muhammad and flyweight Kai Car France. Okay, now I'm going to briefly look into the stats of the new fighters to understand the most efficient way to use both of these fighters. And I want you all to get in the comments below and let me know if you think Kai Car France's hands are absolutely overpowered. And during the fight, I'll give you tips on how you can use any fighter in the game and still fight to the best of your abilities. I'll be fighting against great technical fighters in Division 20 with the new fighters. Get in the comments below. Let me know if you like the two new fighter additions and who else they should add. Maybe Randy Brown or Sean Brady. Personally, that's who I would like to see. I worked really hard on the video. Actually had a computer crash since my last video. If you want to know about that, get in the comments below and ask me. So please drop a like, share the video. And if you're new, punch that subscribe button to join the community. As we'll be talking about future UFC titles and you want to be tuned in here first. Without further ado, let's look at the two new fighters. first fighter that we're looking at is Kai Car France and when I see these two perks right here fast hands and marathoner you're going to have fast moving strikes and you already know the stationary strikes are very fast and then you mix that with a punch speed power and accuracy all above average now you have a great stand-up fighter you want to stay off the ground but he does have good submission defense and in terms of defense cardio chin body recovery all above average so now you got a top tier fighter here in kai car france like really good okay fighting up against risky division 20 fight so you know it's not going to be easy okay i take these cues right here my opponent is moving that head early and that's my cue that i want to be throwing these round strikes okay i'm dealing with a very technical fighter here but one thing, wow, that 95 power, four star 95 power by Kai Car France backs my opponent up and garners that respect. Because when you have 95 power, things can change in the blink of an eye. Okay, now my opponent throwing the high kick outside of range and I'm trying to time that. But one thing that my opponent was consistent at that I didn't know, whipping this knee counter every time, he had enough frames to land an uppercut. That's huge. That's one thing that I was working on. That was money for him. So, Risky, a very technical fighter. And you see, like, he is piecing me up on the feet. So, how do you come back in this case? Okay, one thing. You got to have good footwork. You can check out the footwork video after this one to learn about sidesteps and all other footwork in this game. So you want to take that in consideration. I want to take advantage of him throwing kicks outside of range. But look at there, we're trading leg kicks. And now we got to fight. This is when the game is fun. Whenever you have two opponents, they know what they're doing. They know if I do this, you do that. If I do that, then you do this. That's exactly what's happening here. And look at there, that's how, that's real time. When I throw that knee, uppercut immediately. Man, I was impressed. That power again, 95. Look at there. Back to my opponent all the way up against the cage. Something happened here. Something crazy going on with this power. Okay, now, Kai Car France here. Look, I threw a lot of jabs, so you saw how low his block was. Okay, so now I'm thinking about going to the head here. But my opponent has very good head movement. Boom, look at here. Rocks me. But just right there, you know I'm going to have to give it back. Low leg kick. And I'm pouring on the pressure right now because I see my opponent is still rock for a long time. Get another rock here at the end of the second round. So we're going back and forth. Man, showing respect there to my Division 20 opponent. This is the type of fights Kai Car France knows he's in a dog fight. Now in the third round, 
How is it going to end out? Coming out. I want to come out. And I want to get the advantage. Going to my go-to combo. But I see my opponent is using like my same combination. All right. Not too far later into the round. Exchanging strikes. Just going back and forth. And look at there. He knows that I'm throwing that jab. And this is defensive head movement that I like to use whenever that I'm rocked. Now, don't go for the offensive. And you can look at the counter video. You want to learn how to move your head for all scenarios. So, it is something that i only pull out when i have to a lot of guys get fancy with their head movement early my success always comes off of using it when i have to but i know he wants to use that head and he sways right into my counter he's doing an offensive sway because he can punch out of that okay and but it leaves him very vulnerable and that's the thing about this game i'm trying to bait you to move your head off of throwing my straight strikes and i'm gonna put you in a vulnerable position for a check hook and that's the name of the game right there that can really take your game to the next level okay now right now whenever that chin is down and boom look at that ko just goes out still it's not really much you can do once your head health gets at a certain point kai car france here dropping that bomb with that left uppercut one of my favorite combinations to do when my opponent is rocked one two uppercut instead of that one two head kick can end a lot of nights early the rain fight by the way okay now Balau. remember the name muhammad number five ranked in the welterweight division but we want to check out these two perks Workhorse, grinder, uses less stamina anytime that you're in a grappling situation on the feet, on the ground. Above average striking speed and good takedown defense. We're going to see that a little bit later. Now, when it comes down to the takedown and the top control, 93, four star. So you don't want to get in that situation if you're an opponent. Okay, in the health category, but look here, the top moves. A four star in all of his takedowns double leg single leg wrestling transitions so you want to go to the ground and get it there if you're Bilal muhammad now new season 16 the first opponent division 16 already so i like to come out and put that pressure on the legs with stationary strikes drops my opponent's hands and now i can put that pressure up top but like I said before, I win most of my strikes when my opponent throws kicks outside of range. 10 tips to go undefeated. I explain exactly how to do that in that video. Check that out after this video. Now I want to come with that huge Michael Chandler front kick up the middle when my opponent is dropping his hands. But there again, I'm throwing too many straight strikes. My opponent has a beat on it and he's moving his head and he's countering. Hopefully that counter is a lot more powerful in the future. Blau Muhammad has grinder perk, so he's going to be good in any grapple situation. And that workhorse horse perk. Okay, also, if you want to learn how to do these turning takedowns, they're also in those 10 tips to go undefeated. That good takedown defense from Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. Now I'm varying my combo lifts and varying the combos, throws my opponent off because he's thinking I'm just doing that, those one twos over and over. So now I'm coming with that varying head lift. Another Michael Chandler front kick up the middle, but look, my opponent is very good at moving his head and rocks me. Okay, I'm not using any of those offensive head movements, but instead I get a rock back opponent pushes me off because I was going to end up going to the ground and getting all of that control with Bilal Muhammad round three coming out check hook gotta keep him honest he wasn't one two uppercut but look at here up kicks from your back is very good press any kick button when you're on your back and your opponent's coming down it can get you back to your feet good job to my opponent and there it is even though his head health is just a little too low. Even though he made the right call a little bit too slow. At this point, everything is downhill. But I got to be careful. Another hook. Wow. One, two uppercut again. Everybody's ducking. We got to change that meta. Win most of my fights this way. They worrying about that one, two head kick. Great fight to my opponent. Raw Lone Star Nick. 
great fight. Okay, now let's take a look at the top comment from my previous video from my pro opponent. Dark side, always a pleasure, my guy. Tough fight against a tough opponent. Definitely, bro, you're a beast. Okay, I want you guys to get in the comments below. Let me know what you think of one to 10 about this thumbnail. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the two new fighters and all of the tips that I had in this video. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. However, if you miss this video right here, the top 10 tips on how to go undefeated online, you definitely want to check this out. If you miss this, even if you're a veteran player, there may be one nuance to take your game to the next level. And if you're a new player or intermediate, you definitely want to check out the video. Well, that's a wrap for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.